Hello Navigator, today we will talk about shallow water danger, whether you should switch it on or you should switch it off. How this shallow water danger may help you. All of this we will discuss within the Eclipse display. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Now thing is you can see these are the danger mark. These are the danger mark. And these danger marks, I kept the setting on for all water. That means for shallow water also, I kept the danger on. That is why you can see beyond the safety contour. This is my safety contour value. This is uh, on the chart display. You can see 20 meter contour here. Here, 20 meter contour. And beyond the 20 meter contour also, till the uh, land line, you can see danger sign as well here 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 okay so i kept the danger sign on for shell water as well and here the whatever depth below the safety contour value is termed as shallow water in regards of the danger marking in egg disk okay let me show you through the setting this is this is the setting you have to go to menu and then go to alert then go to safety uh, depth and safety contour setting then go view setting for chart common and then go next you can see shallow water dangers i kept it on and at present my safety depth value is 12 meter so as the safety depth value and safety control value is 12 meter so egg this automatically chooses the next available deep contour which is 20 meter this is the 20 meter contour line and as i kept the shallow water danger on that is why the danger mark are showing everywhere whether it is above the safety contour or it is from land to within the safety control limit all these dangers are showing on the display now if we change the setting if we change the setting now i am switching the shallow water danger off you can see these dangers mark are gone Still, these dangers, danger marks are still available, but within the limit of safety contour to the drying line, all these dangers mark are gone. Now, let me tell you, <clears throat> I always prefer to keep shallow water dangers on. Let me share you why I prefer to keep it on. Because, first of all, I have to understand how far it works. It works from safety contour line to the drying line so if i switch it off that means shallow water danger off it will not any danger mark which is beyond the safety contour line but beyond the safety contour line still there are safe waters to go as you understand at present my safety depth is 12 meter and safety contour is 12 meter as well as per my company procedure so it automatically chooses the deeper one that is 20 meter which is available in this like this so from 20 meter to 12 meter still i can safely navigate as per my company procedure right but if there is any danger it will not show anymore because i choose shallow water danger off but if I keep it on and is if there is any danger within my route or even outside of my route, whatever, within this area, it will show here. So I am of course interested to see whether there is any danger beyond my safety contour till the safety depth. So at least, at least beyond my safety contour to till the safety depth and as you know, how we did how we understand the safety depth uh, spot soundings are light like my setting is 12 meters at present so 12.5 is lighter 
then 11.3 11.3 is far more dark here this is the indication right now i am using four color mode that is why you can see that is there is from landline to shallow contour setting that is 10 meter one color and then another color is from 10 meter to 20 meter but within this 20 meter to 10 meter there are safe water and still there are unsafe water unsafe water is 11.3 meter this is unsafe for me as per my safety depth value which is 12 meter i am just changing the safety contour value let's say safety contour value is 50 meter okay what will be the change the changes will be all this danger symbol which lies within the 50 meter it will go it will not show anymore so let me choose 50 meter and go to setting and shallow water danger keep it off you can see all these uh, danger marks are gone but you are really really interested to see the danger marks which are depth which is 12 meter to safety contour which is 50 meter but within this limit you don't see any more you don't see any dangers anymore because of your setting so this is dangerous for you but if you switch it on shallow water danger it will show again so here the term shallow water creates a little bit confusion it kind of it indicates like for me first of all when i heard shallow water i thought this indicates only depth beyond shallow contour but this is practically not the case practically it is indicating for the safety contour which is beyond the safety contour it counts as shallow water for the for the projection of dangers for the confirmation of safe navigation you of course want to see all those so you keep it on now i am putting back to the original setting okay 12 meter so this is uh, the case practically let me summarize i have not read anywhere in the NP guidelines that the shallow water danger must be on or something but as per my experience and understanding I should always keep the shallow water danger on because if I do not keep it on the dangers that falls between my safety contour line till which I can still safely navigate that is safety depth I will not see the danger mark anymore so that is why I always should keep the uh, shallow water danger on. So that's all for today. And I believe those who need it, they will be benefited from this video. Once again, thank you so much for watching.